Today I'm working on a 2008 Nissan Note rear shock absorbers. The front ones have already been replaced and the back ones are th starting to thump pretty bad so they are due. The, so far we've got the front chalked, both sides, put up on jack stands. First step is going to take off the wheel. Now I'm going to make sure I put the wheel underneath the car, just as a safety measure. Here's the shock absorber, it doesn't look too bad, but we're going to replace it anyways, it's a cheap part, it's not going to be a big deal. One thing that we want to do is get this bolt right here so it's easier to take off. Once it comes time. stand underneath just to give it a little bit of support so for taking out the shock absorber now we're going to come to the back Pop out this little door. Flathead screwdriver. Pop it open. Move the insulation aside. And there it is. Well, I'm not right there. We're going to hold the top with a crest wrench. And then we're going to unscrew that the best we can. I don't have a ratchet wrench, so I'm just going to have to do it the old fashioned way. This particular one, I got a 5 8 Once I get it started, I'm gonna put my wrench on, stop it from spinning. having the jack underneath and pushing up takes a little bit of weight off of that so the uh, nut doesn't spin. Now we're going to take off this bolt down here and then slide the shock down. Now we have 
the old one here and the new one right next to it. It looks pretty similar. So it looks like we're good to go. Although with this one, it looks like we're missing our hardware, which came in the other box. So it looks like we're gonna need to reuse our bottle rubber, spacer, and then the top one in the car, which is actually not a great thing. So unfortunately, Unfortunately, we're going to be not able to do this today. So we're missing the top rubber, the bottom rubber, and the bolt, which is extremely important because I know by doing the other other side, this bolt is actually smaller. Uh, so we can't even reuse the old one. This one right here won't fit uh, on this stem right here. So it looks like we are not going to be able to do this, finish this up today. So, back in the box and contact the uh, manufacturer. So, right now I'm going to put it back together. And that way we can at least drive until we get the new parts. So now we gotta tighten this all the way to the point where it snugs up. You'll feel the resistance and then snug it just a little bit more. I'm sure there's a certain amount you're supposed to tie it down to, but I'm not sure at this point. It's a lock washer, so once you get it down good and snug, you're gonna be fine. Check this, make sure we're still snug. Yep, now we put the wheel back on and chase down the real parts.
left jump. All the way up. Thank <laughs> you.